In this session, we are going to cover how to create charts and graphs using the PSPP menus. Now, um, PSPP does have some limitations when it comes to the creation of charts and graphs. The charts are not um, editable, and so um, you will have some challenges in terms of putting on the data labels, etc. So the charts don't have, don't come with titles or data labels, and so what will have to happen is that once you um, export the file out of PSPP, then you would be able to utilize text boxes to put in your chart titles and, of course, to add your data labels. So because you need data labels, I would strongly recommend that you try to generate your charts as much as possible from the descriptive, um, from the frequency distribution menu. This is what I mean. Say, for example, I would like to create a pie chart for the gender variable. I am able to do that by running a frequency distribution on the gender variable and also selecting the chart option. So here we go eyes, descriptive statistics, frequencies, and I'm going to select gender, bring it into the variable list. I do not need any of these um, statistics and so I'm deselecting the statistics. I'm also going to go to charts right here and I am going to select the draw pie charts option and then I'm going to click continue paste and I'm going to run this from my syntax so run selection and here we have our pie chart with the gender variable. And like I said, you do need a frequency table um, in order to know what each slice represents. And so I would suggest that once you export it, you utilize text boxes to actually add the values here and to add a, um, a title that you need um, because this is not a very informative title. So this is the pie chart. Now, let us look at just a different chart type. So this time I would like to run a, um, a bar chart. So let us go again, analyze descriptive statistics, frequencies. This time I would like a different variable. I am going for, and this time I'm going to use a school year variable. So here school underscore year bring it in. I still don't need any statistics because what I really want are the charts, but what I'm going to have to do is change the chart at this time. I had previously selected pie chart, now I want bar chart, I'm going to remove. Um, and here you notice you can actually select multiple types of charts at the same time. So here I've just selected bar charts and click continue. Now I'm going to go ahead and and I will run this from the syntax. And as we have seen previously, in PSPP, the newest syntaxes appear at the top. So go ahead and run this again. And here we see our bar chart with the frequency table attached. Okay? Now, if you would like to run a clustered bar chart, and this is where, for example, you are able to do, for, in, so for instance, in this setting where we're looking at academic school year, we can um, see how, for example, the male and female separated, so clustered based on gender. What we would have to do is to actually utilize the, um, the graph menu. So what we'll have to do here is to go to our go to our um, graphs, select bar chart, and we would then say that our category axis is school year. And our category cluster, so this is how you would cluster 
you would want to cluster by gender, right? So let's just find the gender variable, gender, and do your category cluster based on gender. Okay, so using that, you click paste, go to your syntax, and you are going to um, select and run this selection. And so you have here where you are able to compare male and female. Something to note about the charts and graphs that you generate in PSPP is that they're not going to be the most useful. So I would strongly recommend that you utilize Excel to generate your charts and graphs if you need them for your analysis instead of um, generating them in PSPP. So that is the end of our charts and graphs tutorial in PSPP.